family you are mostly welcome to Ropinga youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to create or how to design a professional logo that will help your channel to grow faster that will help you to get more viewers more subscribers and more watch time so please join us from the beginning of this video till the end so that you'll get bit every bit understand about this video this professional logo tutorial will help you to know a lot about design so you open your pixel app you go to play store and download pixel lab it is a free app you go to play store and download pixel lab so when you download pixel lab into your phone other android phone or iphone you can get it you can get it from apple store and then you can get it from play store in android so let's uh, get into the tutorial this is how it is going to be uh this is the interface that you are looking so you delete the text this is the text so we are going to design a professional logo so we are going to use you can delete this this one that's it and i'll leave the interface to be like this so we are going to add our text so you click on this plus sign that like is uh click on text like this so you use this pen pen like this and now it has come here you clear this one and put your text so we are going to put uh, mr b mb mr b's abbreviation will be what mb so mb we are you click on done okay this is it so what you need to do now you click on this a that is text so you scroll and you see text type tt size you click on that one you click on it like this increase it to any minimum so like this and now move it to here so you can increase it to any minimum so the interface that we are using we are using a square interface that's why we didn't create any uh, dimension so we are using a square so that's how it is now we are going to we are still on text you are you select a b that is font you click on your font so click on font like this take any font that you like any font of your choice so me i'm going to use this type of font that is you click okay that's okay so now let's bold the bold bold i'm going to bold the text you click on bold that is so this is how it is you now what you need to do next is to center it you make sure you center your text you click on relative position center you just center it that is the center it like this that's okay so now let's move to you still click on this plus sign and go to the gallery and pick a picture picture make sure you remove the background of that picture so that you don't have complications you move the background of the picture that you are going to use we are going to use this picture so we have already moved remove the background that is it so you see that our text behind is small so we are going to enlarge it small increase it small like this so the text like this so now we take our this one here we take it here that is how we are going to do it amazing so this is like this that is mb so now what we are going to do next is to add a background we are going to add background so you click on this double uh, this one and click on color so uh this one i'm going to use this one but i'm going to show you how to get it so what you need to do is uh that is you click on this plus sign uh, you click on this plus sign yes and now as it has come here you click on this one no sorry sorry mono. you click on here you click on here so you come here like this and that's okay done so take this one to the left one and then click on this one again come to here come to here that's okay and you click okay again you see how it is so you can decide to pick any one of them any one of them at this side so i'm only checking so what we are going to pick is uh this one eh or oh, this one which one are you going to pick so this one so by we are going to rotate it like this this one will go up and this one will go down like this, so that it will be like this so that is how it is so you click okay so you see that we have get it now so that is how to get the gradient background so what you need to do now again is to save it you are going to save it save this image save it with the background 
so you take ultra and then PAG. you click save to gallery so your image has been saved so what we are going to do next is to delete this one we are finished with the first step we are moving to the second step how to design a professional logo that is what we are going we are doing step by step how to design a professional logo that is what we are doing step by step so now we are going to pick a background uh other will make it like this but let's leave it this way that is the way to we'll add another background so we are going to take uh ships so we are looking for a circle that's it so you make sure this one is black let's make it black black like this that's okay so i just sit small to fit so make it center click on relative position and make it center that's okay so that is how it is thank you for watching that is your youtube channel please just take take kill to the end so let's copy the same uh, image like this this black one we will copy like this change the color I'll change the color to white change the color to white like this that's okay so this it like this we will do it oh sorry i've touched this one okay we will do it like this okay so we are going to make this one to center yes that's okay we are going to add another shape another shape we are going to add another shape which is uh, at this one right angle we will do it like this and extend it this way you can decide to leave it at the middle so this one to make sure you center it that's it that's okay we have not done yet we are not done yet so we are what we are going to do again we are going to add another shape which is stars we are going to add another shape which is star so this arrow you click on this star this and take your star shape so this star will make it black because we will need it we'll make this star black so that's it so let's make it black this it to the point that it will fit this place so reduce it keep on reducing it i think it's okay so we'll copy it then we'll move it to a position that we want so it to this side then adjust it here that's adjust it here that's okay so we are moving forward gradually gradually so please stay tuned until the end of this video if you have any question you drop it at the comment section so that i will help you out that is how to create a professional logo that is what we are doing now yes so we have five we have right now we are going to add text so you click on the plus sign and you add your text here what is the name of the person that uh, we are creating the logo about mind you that we are creating a logo about what uh, mr b mr b so mr beast that is 2024 the logo is mr b2024 so you click done so that is how it is so what we are going to do is we are going to bold the text so we are going to take our font here you click on font my i'm going to take black white wings that is so we are bringing it here so you see this path we are going to curve it abc so you click on it so you adjust it to your right hand side that will make it this way if it is coming to the left hand side it will turn this way so we are moving it to our right hand side so adjust this nicely like this so make sure it fit well 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 thank you for joining the finger youtube channel you are mostly welcome thank you for joining so that is how it is so let's see if we can move small okay so it take time take your time and do it it always take time and do it. take your time and do it. so what you are going to do now is to copy this same text like this and move it down and then uh either you write something let's edit it at like this youtube logo youtube logo youtube YouTube logo youtube logo that's it so we are going to move this one to our left hand side it is over so let's move it small small hey, sorry okay so let's take this one you take time to do it 
you take time to adjust it if not you have problems with those ones that you have take other i think this way is okay so now we are going to make all what we have added so you click on this one and then click on this one so we are going to make from bottom to top we are going to make all of them add them add them so click on merge here so merge object selected so you have merge them so before you remove the background you need to add another shape you need to add another shape like this so i'm going to select a shape okay let's copy uh okay let's just add this one text like this so okay so we'll go and hide the text top here so by we are going to merge it again like this so merge it again like this thank you for watching the finger youtube channel so what we need to do now is to move the white whitest background and now leave our image alone so that we'll continue the next step so this is how this we have removed the white increase the tolerance to 50 or something like that increase the tolerance to 50 yes the smoothest 2 to 10 or 10 yes thank you for watching have patience we are moving so we have to add another shape here so we are going to add another shape to this one to add a shape don't select it. when you select it like this you can add the shape they select it like this and then this is your tip and then we take circle take circle like this so what we are going to do we are going to reduce the opacity to zero and then add stroke to add stroke we are going to add stroke to this one we are going to add stroke that's it so that is how it is we have added our stroke so we now adjust it to center make sure you center it that's great we have center it like this so what we are going to do now we are going to add colors to both of them so the middle one so you select the middle one and then click on color so like this so this one we take gradient i've already shown you how to get your other gradient so you repeat the same process as i showed you the first time and now you click on this one that's what we are going to use okay now you lock it like this come back select the middle one and now you select color and now on it like this so we are going to take gradient and then we are going to take uh, this one fish so select it like this sorry sorry so we are going to add a shape like this had it here we have had it. okay so we are imagine a shape to this one so that it will enable us to use the color that we are looking for so that is how it is so now we are going to erase the color of this we are going to change the color of this one you see that it has come whenever that you are facing such a challenge it is good that you have seen it now so you need to add a shape so that you will be able to do same so you add this one so i made this mistake so that is a silly mistake that i made so we are going to change the outer layer color we are going to change this outer layer color so i've selected okay go back we are going to take this one that's okay okay so you see that our image is gradually turning to be a logo so you now select uh, the image that we save first we are going to select it again back to our screen so we'll go to this plus sign go to from gallery like this now we are going to pick this one so you crop it here see the circle here you crop it if you want a square you do the same here so we are going to crop it here you crop your image nicely here so that when you go in you will not be having challenges again so mr b mr b so we are cropping our image yes we are cropping our image at that so that is how it is so you click this down and now you send it here so we are going to put our image here so i adjust it nicely to be fit here so how it will fit here to be good so thank you for watching so you adjust it to center we are going to make it center that's great so we are halfway down please stay tuned till the end we are halfway down see till the end so yes this is small uh it's halfway done yes so this one now uh, where we have fresh let me see if i'll get any color let me see if i'll get different color yes uh 
no, no, no. This I think this color is okay, so that will, you know, this one is okay. So let's use this color so that it will not be plain like that. So this way, now we are going to uh, another step. We are going to add uh, layers. So take these 3D shapes, 3D shapes, enable it. You see that it is too much. The 3D shape is too much. So let's add depth, the depth to be one or two. Let's see if the depth is two, it is too much. So let's make it one. Yes, the depth is one. So we have add 3D shapes like that. So that is how to add your 3D shapes. So let's move ahead. So we are going to add shadow. We are adding shadow. This is how shadow is 1010 radius. So we have enabled our shadow. Let's move forward. Out in the shadow, we are enabling it. Okay. Now the final of it all, we are going to emboss it. Enable emboss. That's it. You make this one 135. 135. You make it 135. 135. Okay. Then make this one. This one. It, this one hundred. Make this one. You just play with this one so that you get your your this one well. So try to play with it so that you get your image well. Yes, you play with it. So you see that as I'm playing with it, I'm getting the differences. So that is how it is. Thank you for watching. So now we are going to add the background. That is how our we are going to add the background from gallery so the background is here i will put in this background at my video description below so that is how the background is so you put it like this so this is the background e sorry 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 that is a big mistake i've done yes yes so let's move backwards so i even forget that we didn't uh make all of them so you have to be careful when you are doing if you are doing you need to make them before you even add this uh, embossing and all those things so we are going to continue here so let's see where the embossing will 3d shadow so now we have embossed it so let's see one okay so okay okay uh, emboss so we make it 35 like this or oh, 35 or oh, increase this one small play with this one so this one is just the same process that i'm coming back so stay to take care just play with this one so that you get the exact how you want your this one to be so you, you see the difference okay you see 33 is durable ah, okay i think you are following Yes, take calm. This logo is going to be amazing for you. So that is how it is. We got our logo now. So now what we are going to do, you are to add background from gallery. We are going to add our background. We are going to add our background. Take this one, add it. So that is how our background is. So now you got your logo. So you can save it to your gallery. Yes, you can save it to your gallery. You can save it to your gallery save this one to your gallery okay click on i place it at where you want and now click on save no oh, okay so we just put it middle like this and click on save so you pick the fault you pick the fault like this now thank you for watching your logo editing is done now we have a logo yes you can decide to merge it like this before so that is how you got your logo there's no way this logo is amazing so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please just give me a thumbs up and share this video for other people to also learn have a nice day so we'll keep on improving on our tutorial if you have any problem or any question you can drop it at the comment section have a nice day